Oh, welcome friend. Uh, as I explained in my first two videos that uh, chapter 3 should be materials and methods and you must need to write a short introduction and give a brief overview that what are you going to do in this whole chapter. So and then we explain that you need to make a flow chart and tell the readers that what are you going to do and your whole PhD and your whole PhD. This means that you will done the literature now the work is finished the job is done now what do you need to do after that you need to work on material experimental part so you are just this is now start from chapter 3 okay that's fine now there is no literature there is no introduction chapter first so this is now your third chapter and after this will be conclusion will be the result discussion and conclusion and we explain this flow chart that you tell the readers that what are you going to do the whole story how you synthesize the material and how you characterize and how you make device okay so we explained that first we made uh, use hydrothermal method and we synthesize material and the second method uh, we use electro spinning and i explained that you must need to give thoroughly explanation you need to get this information from uh, google or from uh, other pe people uh, online papers work right and now i explained that uh, you do not need to take the images from the uh, people work and uh, also from Google and you just make by yourself also. Now look come the uh, the method we will the, the characterization techniques we will use for this nano material. We synthesize the material now the product is in our hand. When the product is in our hand now now we need to characterize we want to diagnose these things that whether these are our desired material or not the, the properties the, the features the characteristics we are looking for whether it is available or not for instance it is a nanotechnology nanomaterial nanomaterial means that when the dimension of the material is below 100 nanometer this is we call nanomaterial so nano, nano is very small thing so we cannot see by our naked eyes we will use these high technological equipments like PSM, film emission, scanning electron microscope, transmission electron microscope, XRD, these are kind of things we will use. So, for instance, how I will know that my material is a sphere or nano rod? This is from ECM, from TM. Okay. So the pulse is XRD. Now people are very, very confused. I was also confused when I started writing my thesis. XRD, when you are writing about XRD, okay. You get the information from literature that how XRD works, what is the wavelength of the XRD and which kind of material they use is a target materials. It's fine. But what you need to do at the end, you need formulas. I don't care about and but at the end, you must need to write something special. I forgot this and my supervisor told me, Kamar, what you did? I will make this highlight something differently look now here what we wrote at the end my supervisor told me that this the yellow is i got from literature that's no problem at the end of each and every characterization techniques you must need to add your work that how you prepare your sample per xrd because xrd is just like x-ray in the medical uh, hospitals so <laughs> Uh, th th there we expose our whole body but here we expose small part and we need to tell that how we prepare our uh, material in the xrd environment the sample were prepared in the powder form very nice and for the substrate coated ftos and what substrate we put this powder form on the platinum tin oxide glass ftos the sample were developed in size of this in this we make the sample on the FTO, the dimension was one centimeter square. And one side was one centimeter, the other side is one centimeter. The XRD peak were indexed by comparing with standard. When we get the result, so how we compare how we compare the data with the standard depression pattern. And it is reported in the powder uh, powder depression card. All the data is available. So you just compare your result and the result will show you that whether your material is titania or tin oxide or zinc oxide or not because the standard peaks of every material is available in powder depression cards similarly this is gas absorption study so the same procedure when you see uh, at the end so i added uh, you see in the present study 
and if you ever use determine speak service area here you see at the end every uh, at the end i explain the way i um, uh, adapt it like the pilimation electron microscope so you will see here that uh, to instigate service blah, 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 an extreme can require blah etc etc ha the samples you see the samples this is again the sample were then loaded into the measurement chamber of the PCM and were examined at a higher voltage about this. Yes. A thin layer afterward the sample were then coated with enormous thin layer of platinum. Yeah. This is whole story I start from here. Uh, an extreme kill is required uh, breaking code FTO in order to avoid any physical contact with the exposed film. Afterward the sample were then coated. We just coat the sample with an enormous thin layer of platinum my sputtering techniques to make them conducting and to avoid a possible charging effect during Christmas. Yes, this is also again we explain. And similarly, <coughs> in this experiment, we also explain part the team analysis, the sample were used in powder farm, you see. We again write here, part the team analysis, sample were used in powder, sonicated, when we sonicated, when we make it very, very thin, ultrasonic thin for an hour, then investigated under this kilowatt operating voltage. You see. This is all about uh, the characterization techniques and <coughs> you also need to write the uh, general term in photovoltaics because my field was this so this is all about the photovoltaic here uh, you need to write all the detail here and the method you use there you see all these diagrams and then now the fabrication steps how you fabricate your devices so this is you also need to write here this is all you need to write by your own but you have to take from the uh, literature okay so this was all about uh, the third chapter the characterization techniques you see this is the impedance uh, spectroscopy measurements so I explained that how it works uh, this is uh, possible errors and solar cell fabrications this is we explain Okay, so in next video, I will explain how to summarize the um, uh, third chapter. And this was all about uh, the characterizations. At the end of every characterization technique, you must need to write your own method, how you prepare the sample and how you use that machine. Thanks for watching.